All right, let's um, take a moment to just check in with what we're gonna do today. Uh, so today's video is Electron to Tauri, Updater Hijacking. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today is uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, Electron's updater that most projects I believe use. I'm not really good at Electron, but I do believe this is the project that most Electron projects use to provide auto updating to the latest version. And I have just figured out how to do it for Linux and window, Windows in a pretty convenient manner. Um, it's not completely like hacker style hijacking, um, but um, app image for Linux, you just replace a couple values and upload the new app image and you're good to go. On Windows, you need a uh, bit of a JavaScript snippet in order to manually download and install the update. Uh, I haven't fully developed that snippet, uh, partially because I don't want to be <laughs> responsible for the snippet. There's a couple things you need to take care of in there. Um, I might may expand upon it and offer it at some point, but today we'll just be looking at the snippet I made it's a very basic snippet. It's like 30, 40 lines long, maybe. And um, those are the only two real options that need to be supported, because those are the options that Tauri really supports. Um, if you use Debian packages, uh, .deb, uh, then uh, uh, you should just be uploading the update to your PPA and uh, you'll be uh, distributing the version update that way. Um, I don't know um, how to do it on Mac because uh, I don't own a Mac, so I can't verify it, which is why I'm not going to go over it. It might be as simple as app image, but I don't know. But let's get into it. So this is the uh, feature request um, on GitHub. Um, that um, basically wants to get uh, some help uh, migrating from Electron to Tauri um, in a live application, which is primarily related to ensuring that the auto update feature uh, can switch people over to Tauri. Now, what I've toyed with, this was well, uh, almost two months ago, um, I toyed with it a bit and uh, came to the conclusion that, uh, at least on Windows, the MSI version didn't quite work. But today I uh, tested again and app image actually worked. Surprisingly simple to uh, get to work. Um, Windows, it was being a... So I did not um, get that to work fully. However, I did make the snippet to make it work, and I can test on Mac. And this is the snippet. This is basically all you need um, to make the most bare bones of versions function. I want to stress that this is just the basics. Um, there's at least two things we don't do here. We don't do checksum set checking, which you should really do in a production app. Uh, which is essentially checking the uh, SHA-512 uh, checksum for the file to ensure that you aren't being hacked or something. Um, and I'm install, uh, downloading the file to just installer.msi in the current working directory, which might not always work. So that should really be in a temporary path, and we should do checksum checking. Otherwise, this snippet will download the file, and when it's done, it will uh, spawn uh, the MSI uh, exec command, which will um, try to install the app, and we unref it, um, and spawn, spawn and unref it, so that 
the process continues after the parent process, the electron process, has died, and then we just app exit out of it. And it looks exactly like you would have expected it to do if the A updater had worked the way I wanted it to. Um, so this is a workaround for MSI installation, but it, it works well. All you really need to do is un, um, release one last uh, Electron version that has something along these lines, and you'll have hijacked the uh, Electron updater. Well, let's take a look at it in practice, what it uh, might look like. Um, if I run pnpm dev now, uh, this will, ah, God damn it, it's on the wrong window, but you'll see that it immediately went to uh, um, the uh, updater or the, the installer. Um, I'm going to try to be quicker this time. Come on. <laughs> well, you, you got a, some kind of flash of it at least. And it really just downloads the file. Uh, I've hard coded it right now. Um, so it's just that. But for example, well, actually, we can check it here. This is all the information we have available. So, I mean, if you just take um, that part, we could we could switch this out for, let's do like this. So this would be info dot um, path is probably the best thing to use. And this was with a V first, yes, so tag info dot tag uh, releases download. This is the only hard-coded uh, part right now of the path, um, which you could easily replace. And then you just make sure that this is a temp file, and uh, you do the checksum checking based on what you have here. And um, the weird format here is, I'm not even sure what format that is. The installer found it for me. To get the actual checksum that you should be checking with, uh, you just run in a uh, command prompt where you have the, the command available. Uh, you can just run, um, for example, that this is the value you want to put in, for example, latest.yml. So, this would be the the checksum for that file. Um, and in order to go the rest of the way, um, you can uh, add the file name. Let's do LSLA and find that this is the size of it, and this is version 11, and uh, we just need to set this release date to whatever it should be, which I usually just bump a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't clash with the previous version. And this would be a valid latest.yml file. If we go on uh, GitHub, we can go to github.com slash Simon Hill slash electron to Tauri. And here in releases, you can find version 10 and version 11. All we've done to make the release is we've uploaded latest.yml and the installer. This installer, the MSI file, is the one you got from Tauri. Uh, so if you run car, uh, pnpm Tauri build, the file you'll be updating is source Tauri target release bundle MSI 
and there you go. That's the file that you'll be uploading. And that's the file you'll be referencing in latest.yml as well. And um, this ensures that um, the updater can get the latest.yml file. It can find uh, that the file exists and everything, and you can get this easy message to get like the checksums and whatnot. And then you just have to have this custom snippet um, in order to actually perform the download and running. And running it one more time, just to show all the way what happens. This is the Electron app. It goes to that, of course. I've already installed it, so we're going to remove it. Finish, run it again. And bam, bam, bam. And then we launch it. And hello world, which is now the version 0.11 that we downloaded from GitHub releases. The next thing I want to show is just how this looks on Linux, which we'll do in a dev container. Right now we have the dev container available, and I do believe that the command is also here, just pnpm dev. And um, I did develop the Windows version on the side, so I do believe the reason it's failing is because the latest version on uh, that I have up, this might not be the correct one. Um, version certain actually it should be all oh, right I, I think it's actually in this part uh, no wait it's not because that's in the Windows set but yeah all I did to get this to work was you have to upload a file in this format if it has as I mentioned in the issue if it has um, oh wait, do I mention it there? Oh, right here. If it has block map size, you can just remove that. Block map size is just related to um, optimizing the download so it can like be continued and things like that. Um, but if we just dist um, electron updater app image 0, 10 Use to update. Did I run this in the other end? Yes, I did. So, yeah. So that's why it doesn't work right. Uh, I forgot that I had done it like this. And um, this is just the built version, um, so we're not going to run it in the dev container because there were dependencies. Do I have the dependencies still somewhere up here? Yes, libfuse2 sudo app uh, install libfuse2 and lib ns3 and then we should be able to test electron up there 0 10 and there we go update available just wait for it and there you go 
the app image has been updated, even though I'm not sure why it's not showing anything right now. Um, you can you should be able to see. Yep, there we go. Zero eleven. So what the app image does is actually delete the old version. So zero. 10 was deleted in favor of um, the latest version. But if I run now sudo uh, mod electron up there example 0 10 uh, and we remove the that one then we should be able to run. This is the Electron version. Update available, downloading. Oh. And here it worked better. We'll chuck that up to a uh, weirdness inside uh, the dev container. But as you can see, this is Hello World from the Tauri app. Could have made that a bit more interesting, but yeah, basic hello world, and we've now hijacked app image. We've ha hijacked MSI, even though MSI required a custom JavaScript uh, part to it. Um, Debian files, uh, you uh, upload to a PPA in order to update, uh, and uh, I'm not sure about Mac, because I don't have a Mac. But yeah, that's about all I had to show you today. Um, have a good one. Bye.